Welcome to Anime Universe Channel. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a phenomenal day. If you guys not, go to the, go to Funimation, watch some Dragon Ball Z, watch some Dragon Ball Super, pop some popcorn, sit back on your couch and relax and have a good time. I hope your day will get better. But everybody else who's having a good day, do the same thing too. Because come on, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, they're the best. You already know that. But all right, let me like get all track. Let me get on. Let me get this video started. All right, so this video has doesn't have any additional spoilers. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. It's just because there hasn't been any new information revealed. When they are going to be revealed, I will upload a new video and we'll discuss on it. But right now, I just want to talk about Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. So I'm very excited. Uh, I wish Saturday Saturday was here. Had I wish I had a time machine. Fast Fast forward to Saturday night and just start watching it already. But that would be nice. But fortunately, we can't. We have to wait. All right. So get this video started. We do know that Goku attains Ultra Instinct the second time around. And it's very interesting because, you know, I, I think Dragon Ball Super had made the right decision to start teasing us what Ultra Instinct is all about. We know it's massive self movement. We just haven't really seen it put into action. We seen it in the Goku vs. Jiren fight in episode 110, but we didn't really see the form being used to the full of extent of his power. Now, now that I said that, this weekend, I don't think he's going to be using the full extent of his power of Ultra Inting. I do think he's going to be using it in a range from between 40 to 50% of it. The reason why I'm saying this is because Goku hasn't really fully recovered. Remember, episode 115 has constantly stated that Goku is not at full stamina. He had not recovered the full, the full extent of his powers. So him regaining Ultra Instinct, he, yeah, at least he's not using the Genki Dama, which is known as the Spirit Bomb in the English stuff. But he, in the first time, he used the Genki Dama as a battery, as, a, as the energy supply. And that's why he was able to sustain the form, but he couldn't really use the full extent of his powers. It's going to be the same thing, I think, in my opinion, in episode 116 preview. You see Goku powering up. Yeah, of course. He's using his power supply, but I don't think we're going to see the f uh, full display of his full power. I think we're going to see that in Goku versus Jiren fight part two special if there is a special but part two i think we're definitely going to see that i think for sure we're going to see what ultra instinct is capable of at at maximum power but right now i like the way dragon ball super is taking this approach they're approaching it as hey you know we're going to show our fans little by little how powerful ultra instinct is and to me that's really that's a really smart move because i don't want to see it all at once i'm gonna get bored of it i like how they're reeling us in giving us a taste of what this form is what form about and I, I'm pretty interested what else that this form can do besides unconsciously dodging the blasts, dodging the attacks. I really want to know what is so, you know, what, what is so amazing about this. And since I'm calling it a form, it's because in episode 115, Masaroshi has stated that this is a form. Now, we know it's a technique. However, I, I, I just want to ask you guys this question. Do you think it's just a technique? For other races, and it's a form and a slash technique for because it's Goku for Goku because he's a Saiyan. Do you think that Saiyan have to undergo a transformation because they have that different look and everything? Because remember, if you remember in the manga, Beerus didn't change. You know, he didn't change at all because he was using uh, Ultra Instinct and in the exposition match. Remember the exposition match of the God of Destruction when they needed to impress Zeno? Beerus wasn't using, uh, he was using Ultra Instinct. He, obviously, he didn't master it, but he was using it. But he didn't really see anything change about him. But with Goku, in the sense of Goku, was he, 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 was he looking different? Yes. His eyes are different. His hair is spikier. His, the aura around him is completely different. It's completely different. It's like godlike aura. So... I'm thinking, in my opinion, that because the biology of the Saiyans are different than most races, that that's why they have to go through a transformation. So that's probably why it's like a hybrid, like a transformation slash technique. So it's very, I'm very curious. So if you guys tell me, is it just a technique alone, or is the bolt a technique, or a form, or a transformation, or do you think it's just a transformation alone? All together, I want to know your opinion. Tell me why, because you know I would like to hear other people's insight. Other than that, that's pretty much what all I have for you guys. Like I said, I'm very interested in how powerful this form is. You let me know what you think about this. Do you let me know? Do you think it was too soon 
for Goku getting it and he should have just stayed at Super Saiyan Blue and Kaioken knocking Kafla out? Or are you glad that Dragon Ball Super is doing it? I'm going to answer that. That, to me, in my opinion, I'm glad they brought it back because I feel like it wasn't enough to see what Ultra Instinct is back. I do feel like, you know, I, you know actually, I'm, I'm going to take that back. I'm a little conflicted. You know, my videos before, I've said it, it felt like it was too soon. But seeing it's episode 115 kind of changed my stance on it. So I'm a little conflicted. I Part of me says, yes, it's a little too soon. And part of me says, no, I'm glad they're bringing it back. They're teasing it. We'll see in episode 116. I'll make my final stand on it. And I'll give you my opinion why. But other than that, I'm just on 50-50 right now. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you like the content, like the video. If you uh, want to see more, just notify, uh, just, sorry, just subscribe to my channel. And this way you'll be able to see, you know, I post more videos. I really appreciate the love. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. Like I said, I hope you guys have a wonderful time. Enjoy your day. And I'll see you all later on tomorrow.